Hey, what's up guys? It's Ivan here at ivanmana.com. And in this video, I wanna show you how to set up Microsoft Ads remarketing audiences in 2023. Because remarketing is so, so important, over 95% of people who visit your site for the first time will not actually buy. And so if you utilize remarketing properly, you will be able to reach those people and to show them your ads again so they can eventually make the purchase. And if you guys have ever heard of the marketing rule of seven, which basically states that a prospect has to hear your message, which means see your ad, see your website, any of these seven times before they take action to buy the product, all right? So remarketing can definitely help you with that and that is exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. I'll show you how to set up the remarketing tag. I will show you how to set up the audience list and then I'm going to show you how you can actually use those lists in your campaigns. I'm gonna show you what options to go and how you can utilize those lists that you create. So before we get straight into it, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so you get notified when I release more videos like this, showing you little golden nuggets of information for how you can make money online, all right? Let's get straight into it. So we're going to be using this landing page and this thank you page that I created with Unbounce for the purpose of this video. So we will want to create a retargeting audience of people that signed up and people that signed up are more likely to buy. So we can send them messages about buying. And then we have people on our landing page. So we can target people that visited our landing page but they have not signed up. And we can ask them, we can send them other messages, maybe with different landing pages, maybe giving them different information and giving them another chance to sign up, You know, maybe showing them a different angle so that they do sign up eventually. So that's the plan, that's what we're gonna do. I am using Unbounce, like I said, I strongly suggest this tool. I've been using them for about four years now. It's the landing page builder of my choice. They are so customizable, so easy to use. You can edit and modify anything and their support is absolutely terrific, the best I've ever had. If you compare this to Google Ads support, for example, which is a huge disappointment, these guys are really, really next level. Let's get into it. So the first thing we have to do, right, there are three steps. Step one is set up the UET tag, the remarketing tag, assuming you haven't already. So we're gonna go into tools, we're going to click on UET tag, and I have a bunch of tags here, don't worry about these, that's from other videos. You're going to click on create, you're going to say create UET tag. We're gonna give it a name. Let's say Ivan Mana, another UET tag. You can enter a description if you like, if you have several UET tags. There really is no benefit to having multiple UET tags. So you only need one forever, really. There's really no need to have many different tags. But I'm just showing you this one just for illustration. So you can describe it if you like. We're just gonna click on save and next. And then you have these options here, so you can uh, have this integration that Microsoft has with these editing platforms, such as WordPress, Wix, Shopify, or BigCommerce. They make it super easy for you to do. You have a Google Tag Manager integration where you will just have to sign into your Google Tag Manager and Microsoft will take care of the rest. Very simple stuff. You can send the tag to a developer. If you click here, click next, you just enter their email. Or you can install the tag yourself, which is what we're gonna be doing here, which is the whole purpose of this video. So we're gonna click on next. And we're gonna take this whole tag, we're gonna paste it in the head section of every page of our website, okay? This is important. We're gonna do it on every page of our site. So we're going to copy the tag, make sure it says tag copied. We're gonna come back to, this is our thank you page, which maybe we should reverse it. So let's do landing page first, just in order. We're gonna click on add new JavaScript. We're going to paste the code here. We're gonna call it Microsoft Ads UET tag. By the way, this tag is very important because this can work for remarketing and for conversion tracking. So definitely a great idea to set this up as soon as you create your account, really. And then you're gonna say head, you're gonna say done, you're gonna hit save and republish. And that is it for this page. We're gonna go into our other page now, the thank you page. We're gonna paste the code here. We're gonna say Microsoft ads UET tag and click on head, click done, click save, click republish. Now, I'm sure not all of you guys have Unbounce, which is fine. The main point is you are looking for this JavaScript option of your page. So in ClickFunnels is gonna be top left, in lead pages is gonna be top left as well, somewhere on the side. If you're using WordPress, you can install a plugin called headers and footers, and you can add this code in the header section of your page, of your, of your website, so it applies everywhere, okay? 
So depending on whatever landing page or website builder you're using, look for the JavaScript option where you can add code to your page, all right? So look for that option. If you're not sure, just ask support. They will easily be able to guide you and to tell you where the page JavaScript option is. Or just send them this video and tell them, hey, I need to do what Yvonne is doing here. Where do I do it? And they will easily tell you. It's not usually easy to find in most platforms. So that is it. So we are done with the UET tag. We can click next. It can take up to 24 hours. You can also install the UET tag to make sure that you've set it up correctly. So we're going to click done. And what that UET tag is, uh, is it's an extension. So you can just type in Microsoft Ads UET Tag Helper into Google, and you should be able to add it as an extension. And what this allows you to do is to check if you have set up the code correctly. So you're going to click on the extension. You're going to click on on. You're going to click on refresh. And as you can see, it flashes a little green and it says the UT tag is set up correctly. And then you just want to make sure that the number here corresponds to the number of the tag, which was which was our tag. Another UET tag right here, which uh, where's the tag number here? 6502. Does that match? Is that 6502? Yep. So that's the one that's on our landing page. We want to come back here. We want to make sure the remarketing tag is set up here too. Reload the page, 6502. There you go. So good. Step one is complete. We have successfully set up the UET tag on both our pages. All right. So now for step two, we're going to go in and actually create the audience list. So to do that, we're going to click on tools. We're going to click on audiences right over here. And that's fine. And so I have some lists here. Don't worry about that. You will not see them. I just have them because I've created them for other campaigns. So we're going to go in and click on create and we're going to enter a name for our first audience list. So like I said, we want to make two audience lists, right? We want to make one an audience list of people that have signed up to our email list. We want to retarget them with now a sales offer, maybe something they can buy. And then two is we want to create a remarketing list for people that have landed on our landing page, but they have not bought. Okay. And we can retarget them again, or I mean, they have not signed up so we can come in here. So for the first list, let's say leads, we'll say leads to woodworking guide. And then we're going to keep it at remarketing list. Cause that's the whole point. That's what we're doing here. We're going to click on next and then we're going to enter a tag. So what is the tag that is on this page? It was, I believe this one, another UET tag. And then you can say to whom you want to show your audience. So we want to say visitors of a page. And then we can add the different rule. So we can say people who visited this page and this page and this page, for example. And when we're doing, when we'll create the other audience list, we're going to want to select visitor of a page who did not visit another page. Okay. So we're going to want to use this now for the first option here for leads, we're just going to be targeting people that landed on this page. So we're going to come back here. We're going to say the URL has to contain, and then we're going to add this thank you page URL here. We're going to copy it paste it here, delete the extra stuff on the sides, delete the HTTPS. As long as the URL that people land on will contain this, okay, these words, this text, which is over here, as long as that's what's contained, they will be added to our list, our remarketing list, okay? So that's basically how this is going to work. And that's all. So somebody that lands on this URL is considered a lead because they are a lead, okay? And then we want to make sure that we add the code, the UET tag code we already have. So we don't have to worry about that. The membership duration. So you're saying, how long do you want them to stay on the list? So if somebody comes in, if we set up this audience list and somebody signs up today, they will be gone. They will no longer be on your list after 31 days. And the reason for that is you're basically saying, how relevant do you want your audience to be? So I'm not sure what the minimum is. I think the maximum though is 390 days. Okay. So you can go anywhere um, between this range, any number between it. Keep in mind that the more you set, like the bigger the duration, the less relevant the person actually is in the list, right? So if you say 390 days, that's a whole year. So maybe if you show somebody the ad next year, they might not remember it. So it's going to be the first time they're seeing the ad. So that's why this is important. You want to keep it relevant. You want to keep your list nice and fresh and relevant. So that's why we're going to keep it at 30 days. And by the way, for the title over here, we also want to change this. We want to say 30 days because later on you guys might be testing and split testing different options. You might say, okay, this is going to be a, a 60 day, you know, remarketing list or a 90 day, right? So you can test things. It also greatly depends on your niche. If you're selling houses, if you're selling cars, then you probably want the list to be longer because those are purchases that take a lot longer. It can take years for somebody to buy a house, to think about, you know, from the time that they just start thinking about it to when they actually do it, it could take years. So that's why for bigger purchases like that, it could be okay to say 390 days, right? So it just depends on your niche. 
So uh, sharing, you can say what accounts you want this to correspond to. We generally, most of you guys will only have one account. I do, this is just a test account. So that is it, okay? So this is our remarketing list. So it's gonna be leads, woodworking guide, 30 days. We're gonna click on next. And that is good, we're gonna click on done. And then our list is right here. Leads, woodworking guide, 30 days, okay? So let's do one more list here. The people that landed on our landing page but have not signed up. And then I'm gonna show you how to actually use these lists where you would set that up. So you're gonna click on create. We're gonna enter a name of our list. So let's say visitors and not leads. Let's say Ted's woodworking and let's make this 30 days as well. We're gonna say remarketing list. We're gonna click next. We're gonna select our tag. We're going to say, so in this case, we wanna say visitors of a page, of our landing page, who did not visit the lead page, right? Which means people who didn't sign up. And then we can say people who visited a page with any of the following. So we can copy this. And then you can't actually enter the URL here. So we're gonna click on plus rule and then we're gonna enter the website here. Again, we're gonna remove the slash. We're gonna remove the HTTP at the start there. And then here, as long as the URL contains this, somebody sees this and they don't see our thank you page, that will be, they, they will be added to our list. So we're gonna click rule over here. I'm gonna say URL contains. Again, we're gonna remove this extra slash. Remove the HTTP, there you go. And then th they will be added to our visitors who are not leads. Okay, membership duration 30 days only for this account. Now, one important thing to note, or not important, but kind of a side note, you guys can either create different audiences over here. So for example, over here, we're creating visitors of a page who didn't visit another page. Or what you can do is when you create your campaign, you can include and exclude audiences. So what you could do instead is you can create one list of people who visited your website, and you can create another list of people who visited your landing page, right? Which are leads basically. And then what you can do when you create your campaign, you can target people who visited your landing page and then you can exclude people who visited your landing page. And that's basically the exact same thing as this, okay? So you have two options. You can either just create an audience right here. So you can say visitors and not leads, that could be one audience or you can do it when you actually set up your, your campaign where you can include visitors of this page, just people who visited this page regardless of what else they saw, and you can exclude people who visited this page, okay? So you have two options. There's no one right answer, just preference. For the purpose of this video, obviously, I just wanted to show you how this works, right? So that's why we're doing it here. So we're gonna click Save, and we're gonna click Got It. And then here is our other group right here, okay? So this was step two. We've set up our audience lists. Now let me show you where you can actually access them, how to use them. So here is our search campaign. Let me go over here quickly to show you. So if you have a search campaign, if you click on audiences over here, you can click on create association. You would choose the campaign, that's that one. You would click add targeting, and then you would say remarketing lists. And then here you have the list. So you can say, hey, I wanna target leads, for example. So you can say here, leads. And now with this ad, you will be targeting people that have signed up. Now you do have two options here as well. So you could either bid only, which means you will have this as an audience in the background, but you will not be targeting them. So you will just be getting data for how many people out of those who are still searching for your ad for using your keywords only, you will simply be able to track how many of those are people that have signed up. And then you have this target and bid option, which is where you will only be targeting the selected audience and not targeting people who are searching for your ad, okay? So if you wanna completely do a remarketing campaign where you'll be showing people to people that have seen your site and you only wanna show your ads to those people, you wanna select target and bid, okay? Bid is more of like for research, okay? So target and bid if you wanna only target the remarketing list, that's what you would do. And then here you have exclusion. So what I was mentioning earlier, you can create a, an audience list of people who visited your landing page and then you can come in here and you can exclude people who visited your thank you page. And that would give you the exact same result as this option right here, visitors and not leads. That would give you the exact same result as simply selecting this over here, okay? So that's how you would do it. So you would simply select your list and then when you create the ads, that's when you would go in and write the ads relevant to these people, to the leads in this case. Hey, you can say you already signed up, you got the guide, what's next, right? Here's the next step, blah, blah, blah. 
So that's what you would do. Now, if you're creating a display campaign, what you would do is if we go into all campaigns, let me quickly show you. You go into create, you go into, let's say, visits to my website, audience ads, you click on next. I'm just gonna fill some stuff, random stuff in. You would select this audience option over here. You would say add targeting, and then you would say remarketing list here. And then this is where you would be able to target the people, right? The specific audience list. So if you only wanna target, let's say for this one, visitors and not leads. So you wanna show your ads to people who landed on your landing page and did not sign up. You would select this option here through this remarketing list audience tab. And that's how you would show your audience to them. So that's the process. That's how you actually use the list. So hopefully you guys are now familiar with A, how to set up the tag, B, how to create the audience list, and then C, how to actually use that audience list. If you guys found this video helpful, I do suggest that you visit my website at ivanmana.com, where I show you a free 55 page affiliate marketing guide showing you how you can potentially start making money today with affiliate marketing. And then I have detailed, very comprehensive training courses showing you in depth how to set up your campaigns, how to set up remarketing, so on and so forth. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.